No, this is Rich. I'm still here. I just I'm just uh, doing a little video here. Yeah, Roger on the video. Okay. Fine business there. Doing pretty good job. Keep getting in from manual. Yeah, I'm gonna post this video so you can see how your reception is. Uh, you can also see the little uh, likes and I'm using. It's about the size of two cigarette packs, and uh, it's putting out 10 watts, which is about the most it's a little SMA antenna can handle. And uh, this is indoors too, which is something else. Yeah, well, uh, one of these days you got to get one of those Wushan HTs and fill a weather balloon full of helium and have like a, you could have like 2,000 uh, feet of rope and just let it drift at a certain height. And uh, you could like a DX uh, do cross band repeat for like uh, 150 miles around or so. Yeah, they've done it before, and it uh, used to be you had to have two radios or something, but, you know, those little whoosh on HTs, you know, they have a dual-band, cross-band repeater built right into them. Uh, imagine all the possibilities that has. It'd be nice if you could smuggle uh, one of them into the luggage of uh, somebody flying on Southwest with that thing at 36,000 feet. We could be cross manned for like 300 miles around at least. Yeah, it's David Bowie, man. But anyways, I was able to key that GMRS repeater up there near y'all guys the other day from the interstate. Nobody was on it, but uh, like I said, uh, you know, if, you, if one of you, if you want to get, if you you buy a $65 GMRS license, it's good for five years and it covers everyone in your family, down to your grandkids, I think. good deal for uh, me too I mean uh, some people here just uh, you know we either don't want to take the ham test or uh, just not technical enough to know how it works and uh, GMRS you just uh, announce every 15 minutes instead of 10 and it's only one of you that's got to announce and uh, you know it's actually you can use 50 watts of power on there so, assuming you use the 15 to 22 channels on those bubble pack radios you can use 50 watts on those channels and you can use repeaters on those channels Motorola sells a bubble pack radio that's actually compatible with repeaters. I 
Josh is talking about the GMRS license and its benefits since it's only 65 bucks now. Having trouble here in Ridge over there. It's not, uh, not loud. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Uh, I'm not hearing too good. Let me switch radios. Let me see if that helps. Or maybe turn the volume up on the one you got. up just fine. I see the scope coming back. It seems to be coming in in about at least a five or so. KG5DBA, also known as Whiskey Quebec Whiskey Romeo 9 or 9 or 2. Yo, and, and what kind of radio are you talking off of, Rich? Well, I'm using a Lyxen VV898. Uh, if you got an email, I'll send you a, uh, a link to a video of uh, so you can see what you sound like on my end indoors using a Nagoya NA771 antenna. Affirmative Dean underscore Melanson at hotmail.com. All right, uh, I'll have to send this video to you. Uh, you're coming in pretty good, and uh, I'm using pretty much an HT antenna on this Lyxin. You know, it's about the size of two cigarette packs, and uh, got a, you'll see it in the video. Uh, it's pretty amazing that I'm able to do this indoors. It's a Victor Victor 898. Roger, Roger, I got one of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good little radio. Um, it's 4 and 10 watts. It does very, very well. Consequently, since it's 4 and 10 watts, you can also use it on the... I don't, I'm not sure about this, but I think you can use it on the simplex and the duplex GMRS channels as well. So you can have the 70 centimeter and the GMRS... Uh, uh, simplex and duplex on there. Roger. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, I have, I have uh, all of those loaded into it. And uh, I programmed all my radios with that stuff in it. So it's got my, uh, my likes and or leaks and whatever it is. My likes and has, uh, they have uh, the GMRS uh, frequencies in it also. Yeah, I think I'm going to send a little request to Santa Claus for another radio. Uh, they have something a little bit larger than the likes in, but it's a 20, 25 watt UH VHF radio. It's a little bit larger than the likes in, but hey, it's only it's uh, cheap and it's good, and it does 25 watts full power output. You could use that as like a marine radio if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, but I was going to get one of those. Uh, they're cheap. Actually, they make it a nice little GMRS uh, mobile uh, you can put in the car. They have a single band version of it, and they have a single band version of this Le Lyxen called the VV808. Uh, yeah, this little radio here cost me, I think, uh, cost me about a 
hundred bucks. So, uh, and I got four of them because uh, I like them. They're little. Uh, they use the uh, Kenwood mic. I mean, it's a Kenwood mic clone, and uh, said it does good. It's not perfect, but for a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. Twenty-five watts on VHF. 